there are some specific preference screens in the drum cat. By stepping on the foot switch and releasing it, and you hit pad 9 twice, you have a bolt, bulk exclusive protect. You can use this in case you want to make sure that you can't accidentally send a sysx file to yourself and change things. You can lock the instrument. When you lock the instrument, that means that you cannot make any changes anyhow unless you go back into this screen. You can change your viewing angle. You can turn the beeper on and off. You can have a bank switch enabled or disabled. That means that you can, send, you can decide not to send out a bank change command, only a program change command when you enter a kit and you send out those program changes. When you're editing, you can decide whether or not you'll send out program changes in edit mode. You can give each drum cat and its own ID number so that in case you're doing multiple uh, system exclusive dumps, you can't, don't accidentally send the wrong dump to the wrong drum cat. You can reinitialize the instrument by hitting pad 8, or you can reinitialize the instrument but yet keep your kits intact. That's a good thing if you can, get, if you can use that feature. The next part here is your free memory. This tells you how much memory is left if you have a turbo. And it tells you the kit memory, you, how many kit memory, um, we'll stop there. And yeah. The next screen in the preference screens is the free memory. Here it shows you how much memory is left for your kits and for your motifs. This is only for the turbo drum cat because the turbo drum cat uses dynamic allocation for kit memory. If you need to erase one of your kits and one of your motifs, you do this on the very next screen. And here you can eliminate any kit. It tells you the size of every single kit. If I hit pad 8, it clears out that kit and it also gives you more memory.